this video tutorial we will learn about how to interface a membrane keypad that is 4 cross 3 with that of Arduino Uno inside the Proteus. So for it first of all you need to take the Arduino Uno okay then Proteus is offering one keypad that is membrane keypad inside its library so you can also place this keypad here I have already selected these Arduino and keypad here but if you don't have these you must have to search like this Arduino and here it is our Arduino and what about keypad we have these four keypad in which we are using this interactive matrix keypad for phone okay now the pin number one of the keypad must be connected with that of the pin number 12 of Arduino and these are the standards you can change them but usually these are followed and pin number 3 must be connected with that of pin number 10 then this A pin must be connected with that of pin number 9 of Arduino that is digital pin number 9 and B pin with that of pin number 8 and C with 7 and D with pin number 6 respectively ok now after because matrix key page or this membrane key page is just an input device and in order to show the output we need at least one output device and here we are using the virtual terminal that is serial monitor you can say as an output device for the Arduino Okay, pin number 0 with that of txt, okay. But this is not enough because we need one code in order to drive the Arduino. So for it, we have this standard code. Here you can see that in first line, we have included a keypad .h library. Then we have defined rows and columns. In rows variable we have stored 4 and in columns we have stored 3. Then we have this we have created a two-dimensional character array that, which is named as hexa keyers. And this is the mapping of this hexa keyers. Then in this line it is shown that all the row pins of the keypad are connected to the pin number 9, 8, 7 and 6 of the Arduino and columns pins are connected to the 12, 11 and 10. Then keypad, this is actually a built-in function of the keypad.h library. So what it will do actually, it has one variable that is cust underscore keypad which we have written on our own choice and then make key map and hexa keys and row pins column pins and rows and columns so all these variables must go within the this function and then it will this function keypad must give a key to the cust underscore keypad then we will come towards the wide setup what it means that it will execute for just one time and serial dot begin 9600 just initialize the serial communication with the virtual terminal with a baud rate of 9600 then get key is a function which will be called every time when we press a key and when we press a key get key will give the, you can say that the key 
to the cluster underscore key variable which is of character data type then if cust key cust underscore key means that if the key is like you can say valid then we will got that key on the serial monitor or the virtual terminal that we have already added with that of Arduino. So here this is our virtual terminal and one more thing that we have compiled the code okay it is done compiling and you can take the code from uh, you can take the hex file link from this yeah from this line that is c from c2 dot hex okay c2 dot hex so okay just copy it uh, the, again again i am uh, showing you okay this thing okay from c2 i know dot hex then open the proteus file then paste the link here and press OK and then run it and when we will press 1 it is showing 1 and when we will press 2 it is showing 2 and then 5 and 8 and 0 and hash and store and all this hopefully you got the concept behind the keypad interfacing that is in the simplest way with that of Arduino. So I have given the link for a code. You can make the circuit at your own and then you can put the link of the code within the Arduino and uh, then you can run the file. Thanks for watching.